Hiya guys, how are you doing there? This is 3D Printing 101, and today we're going to be covering 10 Cura slicing tricks you might not have known about. In my time using Cura, I've come across loads of really niche settings you might find helpful every so often. You might only find yourself using these settings once or twice a month, but having your life made easier for you once or twice a month is better than nothing, right? So if you're interested, stick around, you might just learn something new. So let's say you wanted to print this Black Panther by Cafeel on Fingerverse. You might notice that there's a lot of areas on the underside that would require support, since there's nothing underneath it to keep it up while it's printing. This might lead you to enable supports as I've done down here. Though if you go onto the Preview tab, you can see that way too much support's been generated underneath. This neck shouldn't even need support. To solve this issue, all you need to do is go back to the first screen, and over here if you click on the model, you'll see this icon here. Click on it, and then click on the neck. Um, what? You'll now see that this cube has appeared. This cube basically stops any support of hearing within its volume. As you can see when the support block is properly aligned, the neck is now free of support material. This will help you save plastic, and it will also mean you spend less time faffing around trying to get the support off. Time for the next one. So if you're one of the 184 people that have watched my VARS mode video, by the way thanks for the amazing support on that video guys, it's the most viewed video on my channel by a long way. You'll probably have somewhat of an idea what VARS mode is. I put this setting in the list because a lot of people can't find it in Kira, just because it's hidden behind the name Spiral Eyes Outer Contour. We all know who you are VARS mode. Show yourself. If you've ever wanted to print a VARS like object, simply head to the special mode section and tick Spiral Eyes Outer Contour. This will mean when Kira sends the g-code to your printer, it will only print the outermost layer of your object. This gives a nice vase like effect, and it saves a lot of plastic as it automatically hollows out your model, leaving the shell behind. The uses for this mode go beyond vase making. If you like, you could even print other objects like this if you want to save filament. Just make sure you're not sacrificing too much of its strength. On the topic of supports, XY distance dictates how far away the support generates from your model. This is another headache producing setting you can use when you're getting rid of supports, as a higher XY distance means that the support can come off easier, although it does make them more unstable. If you can't find the XY distance in your settings, you'll need to change the setting visibility to expert or higher. This is a pretty small setting, but if you find your supports are becoming too attached to the model, then that should be what you need to do to fix it. If you've ever printed an object with a flat face on the top, you most likely will have seen the zigzag pattern that occurs. This pattern's just what the nozzle produces when the printer's filling in the top face, and it can sometimes look undesirable, but not many people know that there's actually a way you can reduce this effect. Enabling the ironing setting tells your printer to redo each layer of the print as it goes, or if you want, you can just tell it to do the top first. There's a lot of specifics over here which you can play around with if you want to. For a more visual representation, Here's what Kira shows the top face as without ironing, and with ironing. Here's what the two models look like in comparison to each other when printed. And last but not least, it's conical support structures. If you didn't know already, well let's face it you probably did, conical means cone shaped. So what does this imply for support generation? So if you scroll down and go to the experimental section, or just search enable conical supports, you can enable the setting. And when you re-slice your model, you'll now see that your support looks more cone shaped. You'll know by now how I hate support for using so much filament, but this actually cuts the filament usage down quite a lot, as less is needed for the same amount of surface area. I believe we're on about 95 grams of standard supports, and look we've cut that down to 78 grams, just with the click of a button. So we're at 5, I think I'll call it a day there. I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, and if you did, I'd be really grateful if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel, as this has helped the channel reach out to more and more 3D printing beginners. I have some ideas for follow up to this video, so if you want to see more, comment down below telling me so, 
But I did also have plans for a 3D modeling tutorial for, for 3D printing, so I expect that in the upcoming future. In the meantime, see ya. May your printing go well. Mm -hmm.